formulas is average, the average group of formulas. Uh, so uh, the logic uh, of these formulas is pretty similar to the logic for the sum uh, formulas as well. Uh, and again, the structure is very similar as well. Uh, so uh, just to give you an example uh, now, I'm going to go to uh, the spreadsheet that I have here again and go to um, the examples for average. So just to show you, uh, we have average and we just go select the range here and we do this. Uh, so 5.09 is the average. Uh, again, if we just go and uh, do the same for these cells here, uh, we have how many cells? Three cells uh, that we need to get the average for. And 267 is the average. Uh, now, the examples, uh, the example for the average if is here and what we need to do is we need to get the average for uh, the types of fruit that we have here uh, so we can start typing the formula uh, and uh, now we need to select the criterion range first uh, I'm going to fix it uh, and then uh, we need our criterion uh, which is here and now the some range uh sorry the average range um now this is what we do we get 169 now if we copy uh, the formula for all the fruits there and change the uh, formatting or the number of numbers <laughs> after the comma we get this uh, uh, the example for average ifs is here again uh, the same example Walmart and the wine that costs uh, $6.99 we need to get uh, the average uh, sales here and this is what we are going to do uh, so we have the range again and now uh, I am just going to make this range permanent or fixed uh, and then uh, we have the criterion range which in this case well the first criterion range is here that's obviously the price range uh, and then select the price here as well and then uh, the second range here is the retailer's name uh, and then we have walmart uh, in the end we get uh, 67,370 as the average uh, total sales uh, for Walmart for uh, the 699 uh, wine um, and <clears throat> now going back to the uh, presentation uh, 